If you're putting on zinc just sporadically whenever corn's in the rotation, you're falling behind because soybeans, high yielding soybeans, are taking out as much zinc as a good corn crop is. So you are removing a little bit of zinc every single year. And oftentimes when farmers first start soil testing uh, on a more intensive basis, they say, well, how did I get to this point with zinc? Just think about how many years on your farm it's been since you really put on a good dose of zinc. In most cases, it's been quite a while. And you take a tenth of a pound out or two tenths of a pound out with each crop over 20 years, 40 years, 100 years. And you can see, wow, we had really good zinc levels at one point, but we've really backed off by just pulling that down and depleting it. We really like zinc sulfate, dry zinc sulfate on our farm. It's very inexpensive and you can completely fix a soil almost immediately. In one year, you're gonna see, oh, I went from two parts per million to now I have 10 if I put on the proper amount of zinc sulfate. Works really good, pretty easy to spread. I just say this, when we do it on our farm, we've got, well, just a few years ago, we bought a floater that had three compartments in there and then we will put zinc on varying the rate across our fields to make sure we're getting our level up to what our goal is. So for example, if I wanted 150 parts per million of malic 3 phosphorus, I want around 15 parts per million of zinc. 